An unboxing! I guess you probably can guess where this one came from. I got two other American shipments, but I guess they were eBay orders. At least, um, on my last video. And what do we have here? High-tech shredded paper. Well, I thought it was the newspaper, but it actually says packaging on it. Print for waste. Why would you bother printing waste? Unless you're in the package business. So here's my items. Three items. And we have China, Malaysia, China, um, LED lamp. All right, I bought a real strong chip. Um, John suggested this for me. It's kind of an expensive chip, though. It's uh, more than I paid, well, about what I paid for those $50 light fixtures. You know, this is about a $46 chip. I also bought a couple of the IC audio chips. And I also bought one IC op amp, uh, a real high bandwidth one. I don't know why I bought it, just to have it, maybe to compare it with the uh, 5533s when I really, or 32, whatever it is, when I get more into it. There's my 6A white. There's my one little op amp. I kind of want to see these. I ordered the... Uh, I didn't order the exact same type, I ordered the ones that were splayed out in a different direction. Because I think I want to put them in that Yamaha if I can. I'm still playing with that idea. In which case I'll want them to hang straight off the board, not right angle to the board. So these chips are actually set up. You can order them horizontal or vertical, and I ordered them the other way so that... Horizontal. So that when it's mounted to the PC board, it'll just go straight. Because if I turn that heatsink upside down and have these coming off of them, then I want the board just hanging straight off of it. Physically looking at it, I can't tell. I'm going to have to uh, do some magnified shots of it. Probably the other one was easier to read, which is probably more likely to be fake. Because <laughs> the uh, real ones are laser etched like this, you can't really read them too easy. But anyway, I'm curious to take a quick look at this uh, LED chip. Very expensive LED chip, so I'm only going to be take a ginger, careful look at it here. Gingerly take a careful look at it. Ta-da, and that's all she is. A dot on a square. I don't know exactly how I'm going to mount this. That's the big question. That's why I didn't go ahead and buy two right away, because I got more than one lamp to deal with. Yeah, I don't know what you do about mounting these. It might just be an epoxy job. It's not even a metallic wafer on back. Interesting. So we'll see. Hope she works. It's an expensive little LED. Well, I just, just opened a post bag. I thought my camera was running and it wasn't. Turned out to be a five pack of uh, cards I ordered. I've got so many memory cards, it's ridiculous. I just threw another five down. I really need to go through and get them all backed up to a solid state hard drive. Or not a solid state, but a external hard drive. And empty out a bunch of the old ones. Because I just got too many. They're so cheap now. Some nice backups. I haven't really lost anything on cards either. Well, maybe one card went kind of funky, but it was a white card that was included with a product. Other than that, I haven't had any 
values on cards. I don't really know what the answer is for how long they store data though. If I put a card full of photographs, 32 gigs, I sit it on the shelf for 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, how long will that last? If anybody knows the answer, I'd like to get some feedback on that. A quick unbagging from China. Probably a laggard from my last eBay order, I think. Let's see. Look for the cord in there. Oh yeah, these are uh, USB to nothing cords. Cool. These are actually uh, USB to serial adapters. And uh, these are TTL level serial out of uh, USB. So there's actually got to be some electronics in here. Don't worry about the wrong thing. Try two at a mystery unbagging. Camera doesn't record too long without a memory card in it. So, mystery unbagging. This is from P.O. Box. Comma, number in Victoria, comma, Mahi, comma, S-C-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S. -L -L -E -S. I have no idea what this is from. S-C, huh. Mahi. Well, without further ado, let's figure out what this is. Soft, maybe this is a... Not electronics at all, maybe. I don't know. T-shirt? I had some t-shirts coming, but I thought there would be uh, Teesprings. I thought it would be local. You know, U.S. Not local. Maybe... It is electronic. Wrapped in something soft. Oh, whoa! Excuse bumping my new little So it is electronic. It is from Banggood. I'm not sure what's in here still, but it's from Banggood, whatever it is. Ooh, wrapped it a lot. Oh, I got my whole little kit here. Interesting address from for being good First of all, I bought some little slides which is because I have a These aren't as tiny as I thought they'd be. I really want a really super tiny slide switch for my cat collar project Someone want to send me a mini slide switch really micro And this board is what? Wow is this EVU? Huh? The board's little cable. I'm going to cut this open and look. Is it audio or digital? It is audio. Oh, this is a. Uh, Wow, these are nicer than I thought they'd be. This is another little uh, uh, preamp board. That same LM, what is it, 355? Wow, well, I forget what the number is on it. I can't really read this. Or oh, the ME532s or something like that. This is still another preamp board. This one comes with a chip. The other one I bought didn't come with a chip. It was a little cheaper. This seems to be a nicer little board. It's a pilot light LED on it. It does have ceramic bypass caps. I know John didn't like that they used film caps in the other one. The soldering is a little dull, but it's there, I guess. A little dark color to the solder. Nice. Nice little audio board. Alright, so I got these camp boards. There should be two of these. Pretty sure I ordered two. 
Yeah, here's the second one. Do you believe? And then I bought three of these. Oh my god, they're soldered in. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. They do come with the insulator though. The other ones I didn't I came with, and they come with bigger caps. I wonder if these will work. These are fully built. Which I didn't really want because I don't trust their chips. I, these are the Banggood ones. And they're on sale for like, uh, God, they were a little over four bucks. Really cheap. And they did come with a little insulator pad, which my other one didn't come, the one I got from IC Stations. The ones from IC Stations didn't work, as my video showed. These, I suspect, won't work either because they spec the voltage on this is really low. I was hoping these wouldn't be soldered in. This has kind of ruined my plan since desoldering these is nearly impossible. These PC boards are not the same either. Well, I'll see what I can do with these. I hope the uh, chips work because I was hoping these were going to be kits. So I really didn't want to use these chips. I wanted to use the chips I bought from DigiK. Mm. Fly in the ointment unless they actually work. Which I presume they don't or they wouldn't be blowing them out so cheap. And uh, specking the voltages at 30 volts instead of 120 or whatever they're supposed to be. Well, there might be some more money wasted, we'll see.